Roy and Quill John. Then I'll kick this to you because I've got a lot now here that's interesting. How do empires fall? These ones that last for so long that are clearly past that. What is it then that eventually brings them down? A piece of the premise of your question was incorrect. Uh, it's a great question, uh, but we don't have lots of examples of empires past this point that fall. If by fall you mean internally, if you mean they lose their empire, that's a different matter. So um, we're going to get into a complicated subject here, but uh, let's take a, a, a fairly democratic empire like the British Empire in the late 19th into the 20th century was. So one of the mistakes that people make is they think that if you have a government that's benevolent in the sense that it has to do what we the people want, it's democratic, that that means it's benevolent towards other people. That doesn't follow from this theory. What follows from this theory is I want to stay in power. I depend on millions of people in this empire. I need to keep the people who keep me in power happy. At the margin, that may mean engaging in very unpleasant foreign policies, giving foreign aid to dictators because they will sell out their people to give me policies I want in exchange for money with which they can bribe their coalition. So the job of a democratic leader is to keep the, that leader's constituents at home content so the leader can stay in power. It is not the job of a democratic leader to keep anybody else happy. So just as, let's be harsh, I'm going to give you a question I, I give my students. What's the difference between the tax policy of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party? You know, the pretty standard answer is, well, Republicans want to cut taxes on the rich and Democrats want to raise taxes on the rich. Uh, from our perspective, that's the wrong answer. It's consistent with the facts, but it's not the logically right answer. They have exactly the same tax policy, exactly the same. I'm going to tax the people who don't vote for me and give the money to the people who do vote for me. So Republican, the Republican electorate is disproportionately wealthy. That's changing. So they want to cut taxes on the wealthy. Democrats are lower income on average. So Republicans want to cut benefits to lower income people because they're voting the wrong way. Democrats want to shift benefits to lower income people, that is people who vote for them and do that by taxing people who vote Republican, wealthier people, no difference. So it's the same with, with empire. So the folks in the colonies are not happy with the government that's being imposed on them because it is serving the interests of the folks at home who keep you in power. So you get uprisings, and if the colony is not worth the price, uh, you, you back down, you know? The British took a look at the American colonies in the late 18th century, and they said, well, that, that, the French are a much bigger problem. These guys aren't, aren't worth the hassle. And so eventually they accepted defeat because we weren't worth the price. So that's what happens to empire. The job of Democrats is to take care of the folks who keep them in power, and that's not foreign adversaries or friends. Oh, <laughs>